Okay, once again, we're here to do a show. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, you Akim out there that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, man, we're in the midst of these pagan festivals. And tomorrow is so called Thanksgiving, the day of thievery. And you got these women out there that, you know, wholeheartedly um, participating in this pagan festival, man. And everywhere you hear, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, man, there's nothing happy about that goddamn pagan festival. There's nothing to give thanks for about that pagan festival. That's nothing but a high holy day or pagan holy day or pagan festival of Esau, the so-called white man. Has nothing to do with the scriptures. So we're going to bring out how these women, they in their kingdom. Because Esau, the so-called white man, have given them much privileges. And I saw a picture. It says that stop the oppression or the suppression of women. I should have filmed it. But I was like, damn, you had a woman with a Muslim garment on, clothed from head to toe. You only could see her eyes. Then you had a, a woman on, on the right-hand side. You had a woman in a garment clothed from head to toe. You only could see her eyes. And on the left hand side, you had a woman with a bikini on with a two piece. Stop the suppression of women. The middle, it said the Middle East showing a woman with the garment, I'm saying with the whole attire on. Then it said the, it said, it said America, and it showed a woman with a two piece on. Totally out of order. Like in a throat position. Now she was throking. Job 39, verse 17. Because the Most High hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Hey Amen. The Most High has totally deprived the nigga woman, the woman in general, talk about the, the Israelite women, from the nigga woman on down to the Israelite women. The Most High deprived them of understanding. That's why they indulge themselves in these pagan festivals. From, from Halloween, who the men was out there on Halloween trick-or-treating with their kids? The women. From the nigger woman on down to the Issacharite women. And then you got the pagan festival that followed behind it, Thanksgiving. Who are the ones that's wholeheartedly out there spending they, they snap um, benefit um, of money on turkeys and anything that go with Thanksgiving, man? The women, man. So with Christmas, Easter, um, 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 Valentine's Time Day, so forth and so on, man. It's the women makes the most out of the problem of understanding. They have not a clue what's going on. They in their kingdom. This is their kingdom right here, man. Where they could do anything, man. They could, they could commit adultery and sleep with multiple men. They could bring a man after they done committed adultery against that man. They could bring him to court for child support. They could divorce him and take half of what he owned. This is the this is the women's kingdom, man. Look at these reality show with these nigga women over there with these blonde hair and these blue eyes and all the rest of the fucking nigga tree that's going on, man. Yeah. You dark? Yeah. This is uh, Job thirty nine verse uh, eighteen. What time she lifted up herself on high, she scorned the horse and his rider. Hey, man. These women, man. They are totally out of order. They have no discipline. They don't want any discipline. They buck up against their man. Break that down again real quick, bro. I'm mean, gonna read it again. It says, again. What time and she, go into it? What time she lifted up herself on high? She scorned the horse and his rider. So what time she lifted herself on high, these women are on high, man. All, All these right? women are on high, man. Okay, well you can break it down, bro. It says, and she scorneth the horse and his rider. Meaning that she's in a position to talk shit and to do whatever the hell she want to do against the, uh, against the man. Nonetheless, the so-called white man is that, that, that rider that's on the horse. That's right. And she, and she, she has the audacity to even talk shit about, uh, to talk shit to the, the, the so-called white man because he's given her liberty to do that. You know? So it's all twisted, man. 
this society, the way the so-called white man set up everything is just, just to just to f everything up, man. Everything is out of order. Everything is out of whack. So the when if when a, when a woman is given too much liberty to do whatever the hell she wants and not get con and no, there's no consequences or repercussions to it, what does that bring? That brings forth nothing but destruction, and confusion, and madness, man. That's right. And that's what this world is all about. And that's why your how about Shah is gonna destroy the so-called white man, these proud ass bitches, all right, in this damn place called America, because it's all wickedness, man. All right. Hey, in these day and age, you got a woman because they have been given liberty by the so-called white man. They have been given all these privileges. They have been brought up on high. You got these women that get up in a man's face and put hands on a man. And once that man retaliate and strike back, they can just totally, totally um, proclaim that, you know, I've been assaulted by this man. And we living in a time where Esau is ruling and these women have rulership over us because they have been given the power by Esau, the so-called white man. But um, we have scriptures to back up that that shit is totally off, man. You got more? Yeah, this, what's that scripture? Now, that was it. What's that scripture where it says, and women rule over them? And women should, and women should rule over them. Yeah, um, that's in Isaiah somewhere. So go ahead, though, Isaiah. Has some. It says, um, I got it. I got it right here. It says, um, mm -hmm. this is Job chapter, chapter um, seventeen, mm -hmm. verse four, and it says, um, for thou hast hit their heart from understanding. Their heart was their mind. The most I have hit their mind of understanding. You know what I'm saying, whereas they're not going to get these scriptures. They're not going to understand what we tell them, what we tell them about the Lord's law, statutes, the commandments. They are fully setting their mind to do wickedness. Why? Because Esau, the so-called white man, propped them up to do that. Shaman, you can open the door for this brother, Bapu Kashar? Shaman. Shaman, you can open the door for this brother, Bapu Kashar? Matter of fact, I got it, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Because, you know, hey man. I got the scripture. Yeah, bring it out again. But Bobby Kush, I bring it out again real quick. All right, the one and uh. No, I'm gonna bring out. I got it real quick. I'm gonna bring out Job again real quick. Yeah, Slot here, Bubbas. I got distracted from the knock on the door because Akim is coming in. This is Job chapter um, 17, verse 4. Mm -hmm. For thou hast hit their heart from understanding, therefore shall thou not exalt them. Hey, because the most I've hit their heart from understanding, man. They don't understand. They don't have a clue what's going on. They mainly, mainly they don't understand what's going on in the Lord says the commandments of the Most High, man. The laws, the statutes, the commandments of the Most High. The Most High hid them from that, but they don't have no understanding. They just follow. See, women, they follow those that's in power. And Esau right now is in his power seat, man. So what? The, so what these fucking women are doing? From the nigger woman on down to the to Ishikarite women. They are following the ways of Esau, the so-called white man. The white man have given them so much liberty, they can go out there topless, showing their breasts. They can walk naked and have paint put on them. And don't expect to get raped or to get touched. They can do so much wickedness in the society and get away with it because they got a past. Because why? In this society... In America, we under the vibration of the Queen of Heaven. Women worship. So women are being worshipped in this society. So therefore, they can't do no wrong. You got more? No, that was, um, you was reading. Yeah, so it says, it says, Therefore, shall thou not, ex it says, Therefore, shall thou not exalt them. Yeah, women are being exalted, bro. Women are being exalted. In this society by these, Esau. These, exactly. These hoes are being exalted thanks to the so-called white man. See, and that brings about what? Disorder. And confusion. Confusion, man. What good has come from the woman, the women, that's being hoes and sluts, all right? Being a bunch of damn whores, man. What, what good has come of that? Look at the state of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. What good has, has come of the your, your, your mother's? Being a bunch of sluts and hoes, man. Case in point, most of you Negro men, so-called Negro men, have been raised by their mother. And look at the state of you Negroes, man. 
Yo, fucked up, man. Yo, fucked up beyond recognition, man. Yep, Fubar, I got the scripture. Yeah, bro. Isaiah 3 and uh, 12. As for my people, the Israelites, children are their oppressors. And that goes into Job, where he says, them that are younger than I have me in derision. Yeah, to my Esau. This so damn so-called white man. He's the he's the young he's the younger he's the children he's a damn he's a damn child man he's a damn immature brat you know that's why you have grown ass men riding skateboards and <laughs> and uh, scooters and crazy you know it's the the sober white man the sober white man is a childish a childish son of a bitch man grown ass men playing video games ain't nothing yeah. Playing video games, man. I mean, every day, all day. But in in, in, in overall, childish men, the mentality of a child. You know what I'm saying? Having a um, a childish mentality, man. That's the so-called white man's mo. He, he 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 rules that. That's the way he was created. He's not a he's not a he's not a a, a, a wise, upstanding individual, man. So as for children, as for my people, children are their oppressors, man. And women. Rule over them. Because Esau, the so-called white man, have given the women the power to rule over the men. Why? Because they have given them so many benefits, such as Section 8, whereas you can't have a man living with you. SNAP program, you get a $1,000 worth of, worth of um, um, food stamps a month. When you got headers, you got Section 8, where you only paying, where your rent is... You got a three bedroom apartment, and that's, and you living in a good neighborhood, and that shit runs you to twenty, two thousand to twenty four hundred dollars a month, but you only paying a hundred dollars a month, or hundred thirty dollars a month, and then you got Esau paying the rest, the government. That's Section Eight, but guess what? You can't have a man living with you, so that's empowering the woman. And then not only that, on on top of paying that rent, they give the woman a thousand dollars a month in food to feed their children. So therefore, they empowering these women, giving these women a so-called insecure backbone to buck up against the, um, the, the Israelite men. Hence, you got these women ruling over men. Because Esau not giving these, Esau the so-called white men is not giving these men the benefits they're giving these women. Now you got these women with top jobs, man. Riding around in luxurious cars. You know, getting all kind of benefits from the government. Hey man, the time is coming where these women's gonna be brought low. You guys said nothing, bro? Yep, there's more here. Yeah. This is Isaiah 3 and 12, and it says, Oh my people, in the middle of the verse, oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to earth. Hey, oh my people, they that lead thee, which are these so called black leaders. Like Creflo Dollar, T D Jakes, and all the rest of these um um who Martin um not not, not Martin Luther King, that nigga that was that had him whack. Um what's his name again? Oh Jesse Jackass Jackson, mm -hmm. that shriveled up prune, that was a fat bastard at one point. Reverend Al Sharpton. <laughs> now he's a shriveled up prune. Reverend Shout <laughs> Reverend Al Charlatan Sharpton. Now he's a shriveled up prune. First he was a fat bastard. Mm -hmm. But I think he got AIDS because he's a fucking homo. That's my that's my personal belief. Don't quote me on that. But now how he lose all that weight and now he's shriveled up. But yeah, he ain't a real leader, you know what I'm saying? He ain't a he a forced leader. He causing our people to err, man. Go off, man. In error. Go off. Commit all kind of wickedness. Why? Because he's not a he's a charlatan, he's not a true leader, man. He's a puppet. For Esau, the so-called white man, to pacify you Negroes. Yeah, the so-called white man got him in his back pocket. Cut. Cut. <laughs> and destroy the way of thy paths. And what's the way of our path, yeah, man? Exactly. Which is truth, man. It's truth. Man. See, you Negroes out there that sellouts, you're destroyed. Read it again, Bobby Kashai. We don't say what says that. It says, Oh my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. Hey, that's these these leaders like T D Jakes. Creflo Dollar, Jesse Jackass Jackson, The Charlatan, Al Shopton, Al Shop Tongue, whatever you want to call him. 
and all the rest of these leaders, that they, these political leaders, um, um, what's his name again? Um, um, the senator from from New Jersey, Cory Booker, whatever you want to call oh, his name, yeah, that, that homosexual, Maxine, Mad Max Walters, and all the rest of them goddamn charlatans that have sold out, man. That's supposed to be leaders for the Negro race, man. Read. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right, verse 13, yep. It says, Yahweh Bashamiah Shai standeth up to plead, and standeth to judge the people. And that's what's going to happen, man. The most is going to stand up and judge all you people, man. From the least to the greatest. You know? The most is standing up right now, man. How he's standing up? Mm -hmm. He's He have his props out there in the Howards and the Bowways. Mm -hmm. We out there on the Howards and the Bowways pushing his word. And not only we out there in the Howards and the Bowers pushing this work, we putting up videos week in and week out. We flooding the unicorn, which is the internet, with all kind of videos, man. So you cannot say that you have not came, came across a GMS or an Israelite video from any other camp, you know what I'm saying? Because if a camp teaching that you are Israelite, they're teaching you the truth, but they go off of other doctrine. But if you want the whole 100% truth, come to GMS, man. You're going to get the whole 100% truth. You know? Verse 14. Yahweh Shemuel Shai will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people. Hey, the Most High is going to enter into judgment with the ancients of his people. Talking about the leaders, man. Talking about the leaders of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Israelites, man. The men who know they're Israelites. The Most High is going to enter into judgment with them, man. And every day is going to be brought forth, man. Yep. And the princes thereof, for ye have eaten up the vineyard. The spoil of the poor is in your houses. Hmm. Yeah, show you that these guys, that these damn hirelings, man, yeah. these charlatans of Israel, like Nate and all the other guys, man. Yeah, how about Shemuel Shad knows who y'all are, man. Cut it. You know, and the spoil represents what you reap. When you get, you ripping, you ripping the congregation off because you teaching them truth, but then you teaching them lies at the same time. That's right. You are. Binding them up from the kingdom of heaven, man. You keeping the name away from Israel, Nate. And some of you are uh, 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 GOCC uh, bubble eyes. I don't like calling you Rakar, man. Because Rakar is, is, is a holy name, man. Rakar is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a spiritual name. You you the damn devil, man. Talking about a higher, a higher, a shar, a higher, man. Talking about the aborigines of, 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 of Australia is a tribe of Reuben. All right, and the Hawaiians is a tribe of Naphtali, man. You understand that? But you here it is, you ripping the people off. What the fuck is this? That's crazy. And hey, you ripping the people off, man. You were hiring them, man. That's why the scripture say the spoilers in their houses. Cause you, you you taking all that you getting all that money from the congregation, man. And yet, and yet, and yet, you're not teaching them the the whole hundred percent truth. You're deceiving them, man. Okay, Nate, okay, uh bubble eyes, okay, Yahana. And all the rest of you clowns, man. We call you guys out all the time through the Spirit. So, let me get this scripture in 1 John 4 and 6. We are of the Most High. Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. He that knoweth the Most High, heareth us. So, that's why, you know, we say, and we, we are confident in the Spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. We have the 100% truth. Okay. And that you will get the 100% truth. From Great Millstone through the Spirit. Beginning with the uh, uh, elder apostles, man. That's right. You see? So whoever is seeking the most high, Yahweh Shemesh is going to lead you to the right, the right men. In sincerity, man, and in truth. You know? It says, He that is not of the most high, hear if not us. And you got all kinds of guys out there that just popping up out of nowhere with fitted caps on. Teach, claiming to teach the word and be prophets and being deep in the scriptures. Talking about, you know, all the tribes of Israel are black. Talking about uh, uh, the mark of the beast. It's not the RFID chip. You can't prove it according to the scriptures. And this is deep in madness. Mm -hmm. But this is this is what's going on. And man, and it's ample proof out there that the RFID Michael chip is the mark of the beast, man. You got these Edomites, man. That know that the mark of the beast is the alpha of the micro chip. So what about a slowly stupid ass Negro with a baseball cap on talking yeah. this madness, man? 
You have nothing to say, man. But then at this, in the same, on one side of the mouth they saying, but then on the other side of the mouth they saying they're not going to take the chip. Oh what is yeah? It? Oh yeah? So if you don't, so oh, yeah, you're not going to take the chip. Why not? It's not the market of beast. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> if you say that the off of the micro chip is not the market of beast, you're not going to take the chip. So, so why not take it if it ain't the market? Of beast? Exactly. So what I'm, <laughs> my thing is, yeah, yeah. you say that the off of the micro chip is not the market of beast, but you say you're not going to take the chip. So what is the chip? Yeah, what is the chip? So now you gonna take the offer the microchip? I ain't got the chip. I'm not taking it. But you got it in your hand already, man. Hey man, you Negroes is stupid. Man. That's what the Most High gonna fuck two thirds you Negroes up, man. And guess what, man? I hope the Most High, I hope the Most High, you have a white I do it tomorrow, man. Yeah. Right on Thanksgiving, man. Yeah, I, I do too, man. This shit is this shit is ridiculous, you niggas. It says, hereby know we the spirit of truth. That's what we have. We have the spirit of truth. Yeah, how about Shemel Al Shai, man? And the spirit of error. Amen. <laughs> they that calls my people to err. That's right. Talk the spirit these. of, yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Get, 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 bro. Talk about these, 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 these. First of all, the ancients of the people, like the Most High said, like Nate, all right, and uh, his, his uh, motley crew of bishops and deacons. And then Yohanna, and then his, comfy, yeah, and comfy, and all them damn, uh, uh them damn bird brain, uh, niggas, man, that that claim that claim Israel, but ain't doing what the the Israel of the Most High should be doing. You know what I'm saying? So, the Lord's gonna start with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it says in Ezekiel nine and what nine, and, I'm starting my sanctuary was nine and six like that. Start of my sanctuary. 94 and start of my sanctuary. Good, good. Yeah, man, man. Yeah, yeah. This it, straight up Ezekiel 94, where the most size is is gonna begin to start kicking ass, man. Having these angels out here kicking ass, man. You know, because you have not a clue what's going on, man. And we living in a time of prophecy, and all hell is breaking loose, and everybody's in that mirth, is in that state of mirth, man. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Follow behind that. They're going to start Christmas shopping, you know, from Christmas shopping. They're going to start gathering up themselves to celebrate this pagan festival, which is um, New Year's. And after that, they're going to go right into um, uh, 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 um, Father's Time Day and Easter and so forth and so on, man. Not having a clue, man, at ease, you know. And mainly it's these women pushing this shit, man. Because we under the because this society is, 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 is under the vibration of the women. So the woman is leading the pack. Who I saw out there shopping for all this shit for this pagan festival? Women. And then you got some kind and of simps. You have simp and women and simps. You have simple minded ass simps that's following behind a woman, pushing the shopper car while she's five, six feet ahead of him. Simps. He's pushing the shopping cart, looking on simple and shit in the face and shit. Goddamn self. Looking on simple and shit in the face, pushing the shopping cart while she's leading the pack, buying all the shit, dictating to him what to get and what not to get. You know? She may even scream at him a couple of times. I've been seeing this throughout this whole week, man. And this is only, what, Wednesday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I seen preparation of these, these nigga women with the nigga following behind them. Get in preparation of um of Thanksgiving, the day of thievery. How much more, um, the worship of Yule, and all the rest of these pagan festivals, man. Man, shit is ridiculous, man. Yeah, that was that, was that bro. So, all right, so you know. hey, man. I got this last scripture yeah, yeah, before we up. close it out. You know, this is Ecclesiasticus, or the Book of Sirach. It says. Chapter 25, verse 25. It says, Give the water no passions, hmm. neither a wicked woman liberty to God abroad. You want to break it down? No, no, all right, go ahead. Read it again. It says, Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, yep. chapter 25, verse 25. It says, Give the water no passage. Give the water no passage. All right? Because what, what is water? Water is easily... You know, easily moving around, it, it, it forms anything. That's like a woman. Right. She goes with she goes with the flow, man. She doesn't have no no restrictions. You know what I'm saying? She just she's just out there. You know what I'm saying? 
rolling, rolling with the flow, doing, doing, doing what, 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 what is what, what the, what the course of the world is doing. Following the trends. Following the trends, man. Following the trends. Give, give the world. water no patches. You gotta have a cutoff point. It says, give the water no patches. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. All of you bitches out here in America, that's what you are. According to the scriptures, we can back it up with the scriptures by calling you bitches. A shameless woman shall be counted as dog. A wicked woman is a shameless woman. Hence, you're a bitch. Right. You bitches out here in America, man. You are wicked, and you're and, and you. According to the scriptures, you're not supposed to be gathering abroad, man. But. What does the so-called white man do? He allows you to gather abroad. He allows you to go here, go there, do this, do that. They gather abroad, and also Please. when they go to when they gather abroad, they they come in all kind of wickedness. You got women in Europe protesting. They protesting Donald Trump coming to Paris. Some fucking you got a bunch of women out there protesting. You got the nigga woman in that mix too, protesting topless. Now what the fuck that has to do with That's Donald Trump coming to Paris? Like man? being a shameless woman. That's what it is. You mean to tell me Donald Trump coming to Paris, how you going to protest by protesting topless? You just want to show your fucking titties, you fucking nasty bitch, you hoe. You just want to you, you just want to show hoe? your nice titties. You, because why how the fuck excuse my language, how in the hell does protesting Donald Trump coming to Paris has to do with you being topless? Being topless, taking your taking your shirt off and your bra off and being topless. You're showing your tickets to the whole entire fucking world. It has nothing to do with it at all. You just want to be a fucking whore. Having liberty to gather abroad, man. Yeah, that's fucked that's up. That's one of the ways how Easter have given these women much liberty, man. Where they could take themselves, take their bras off and walk topless, man. Walk around topless. Walk around in lingerie, thongs, you name it. Man, I can show you countless trope videos of these women out there. Twerking on YouTube and this 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 fucking countless truck videos, which is not right, man. Here, this these bitches got men, some got husbands and boyfriends, but they out there showing truck videos. It's wicked as all fuck. Hey, man, the most high is going to judge you women real soon. Ezekiel, the twenty-first chapter, the ninth verse on down, man. Apply to you women. Also, Jeremiah. The 15th chapter, the first verse, man. Applies to you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you women that's not right in the spirit, man. Hey, man, I'm not going to keep this video going, man. I feel we made our point. The thing is, man, you can't give these women liberty. You can't, you can't have these women ruling over you. Listen, man, I live by myself, man. My woman come through. But she oh, come through. Get that scripture now. But I live by myself. I train by. I train with another brother. But after, after one day, I train from with, with one with one brother. But after that, I train by myself. I eat by myself. I do what I have to do, man. I serve the Lord. I put videos up. I go in the houses and the byways, man. I do what I have to do. I have no personal life. My life consists of this truth. I got a scripture out. Come on. So Rock 33 verse 19, we'll close with this. Because <laughs> this is a major thing. Alright, this 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 holiday this 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 holiday bullshit amongst you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, it gotta stop. But you know the most high is gonna put a stop to it because he said regarding the two parts they're in, it's gonna be cut off. So we understand that. But as far as you few no, as far as you, yeah, you few men and women out there, all right, that believe, all right, you got to cut that fucking shit off. The Most High, how about Shemel Shai, is not playing around. So, Sirach 33, 19. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest. And, yeah, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. Okay, so there we have it right here. Why? Because we got to put our everything into your how about Shemiel Shai, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you in a situation, you you got, you know, you ain't got, you know, you ain't got no no food or whatever. Sure. You know, have have some food. All right? But 
don't be in the in the in the, in the same spirit as your family members will be in. Your you know say if you have an unbelieving wife or whatever you know all kinds of scenarios and situations can play into what we going into man. The scriptures say what it says. You believe in your how about Shmuel you Shai? Whether you man or woman, you are not to indulge in this spirit, man. And what's the spirit? This this, this pagan this festival pagan bullshit. of Thanksgiving. First and foremost, it started with it started with um Sam Hang, which is Halloween. Then Thanksgiving. Now we in the spirit of Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. And if, after that is the spirit of the Yule, which is the worship of Tammuz, which is Christmas. And then the worship of the Babylonian festival, which is um, uh, um, New Year's. So don't indulge in that, man. But separate, to, separate yourself from it. But speaking to you, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, that's a part of the two thirds. It's like speaking to a war. We ain't talking to y'all. We talking to the sincere. That's what these uh, electronic epistles are too. It's to the sincere Akim and you know believers out there. That's what this is for. It's for y'all. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so, no. hey, you got something you got something else? No, that was it, bro. Hey, so you know, with that man, we're gonna close it out, man, because you know, it makes no sense to keep on beating it to, you know, your heads, man. If you're a part of the elect, you're gonna get it. If you're a part of the two thirds, we're wasting our time. Exactly. So he that is of the most high here if us, as that's the right. scripture says. So that's right, huh? So with that, we're going to close it out, man. We're going to once again give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakaq with Dash. And we're going to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Hey, say this, you I came out there, that's sincere. Yeah. And that's serving, that seek to serve the Lord with all your heart, man. That's right. Hey, Shalom. Shalom.